Welcome back everyone, Dustin here, Average Guy Hi-Fi again. I've got something a little bit different for you guys, but this is from a subject that's really, really important to me, subwoofers. Um, I had a meeting up north, so I popped into a local pawn shop that I frequent, and they had just put out this guy right here. This is an SVS SB1000 subwoofer. Um, it is, if you're not familiar with SVS, which I would find that hard to, hard to believe at this point in time, but back in the day when SVS came on the subwoofer scene, they just turned everything on its head. Um, they were factory direct, so what you could do is go out and spend $1,000 on a subwoofer and get $3,000 worth of subwoofer performance when it was compared to some of those other big manufacturers. And what that did was just, it just raised the bar. All those manufacturers had to sharpen their pencils, they had to adjust their pricing categories to compete with brands like this. And if now SVS is world worldwide. Um, my little my uh, Magnolia down the street in my inside my Best, Best Buy actually has SBS subwoofers in the store there. So, um, but they have great customer service. They have wonderful warranties. Um, their return policies are very very um, consumer friendly, basically. So it's a great manu great manufacturer of great products. They make speakers. They make um, they make subwoofers, obviously. They make wires. They make a whole bunch of different stuff. But anyway, so um, I popped into that that pawn shop and bought this guy for two hundred dollars. So. I'm sure there's been people out there that got this for less, but that's about as good as you're going to find for a subwoofer this new from SVS. They have very high resale value, and I focus on the used market. So whenever a subwoofer is listed um, on the used market around here and it's SVS, there's a ton of people that want it uh, if you have it priced reasonably. So I'm very happy with this purchase, plus it allows me to make this video for you. So what I'll do is I'll read off the stats here. Um, since I've owned six or seven subwoofers, I've never had any in this uh, particular house, but um, you know I've used this receiver to calibrate a few SVS subwoofers. So um, this right here comes with the um, it comes with the Sledge STA 300D amplifier. This is it right here. Has obviously the the volume control, the phase control, and the low pass filter. Um, and then it has an LFE. I'll be plugging mine in for the LFE channel there. And uh, it's 300 watts RMS, 700 watts peak. Um, I actually, I was a little bit shocked. It came with a 12 inch driver. I almost thought this was an SB2000, uh, but because I've owned a, a pair of those in gloss black and I loved them, but um, apparently the difference between the between the um, the SB1000 and the SB2000 is that the SB2000 comes with a 500 watt RMS amplifier and it comes with a little bit bigger box. Um, the volume of the box is a little bit bigger. So, but the difference in performance is actually pretty substantial between this one and the SB2000. This one right here is rated at 24 hertz. Um, and the SB2000 is rated at um, 19 hertz. So that is a pretty uh, good bump in performance there. The only negative to this one, and again, I'll point out all this stuff when I get these good deals, is that this guy right here is missing the SVS logo. But since I've bought so many SVS subwoofers, hopefully they'll be willing to sell me just a little logo that I can glue on there. So when I sell this, the next person will have that. But anyway, we'll pop over there. I'll show you guys this thing in action. Again, I'm trying to keep these videos shorter. I'm a little bit of a rambler sometimes, so I'll try to tighten things up. But I'll go in there. I think I'm gonna put on Tron. So I'll show you guys um, nice lighting. I'll show you the, the woofer in action. And then we'll pop over here and I'll give you guys my impressions of the subwoofer. So stay tuned. All right, everyone. Well, that uh, little demo in there just cemented it for me. I'm going to be buying subwoofers and testing them out as well, too. 
Um, I hadn't really planned on doing that. I was planning on um, testing subwoofers with the speakers that I end up buying, but um, I think we should be testing the speakers and then the subwoofers because they don't always come together on the used market. So sometimes you end up with the speakers and then you have a different brand subwoofer. So the plan is now I'm going to be buying a bunch of used subwoofers and testing them for you. This was a good start. Um, this S SVS SB1000 just really performed very well in my room. It just reminded me how much I love subwoofers, the whole deal. So I'll be testing them out. So now we're to the average guy hi-fi score section of the video. So this is where I will give you five categories. There's quality, there is bass response, um, there is the uh, aesthetics, there is the MSRP value, and there's also my price paid value. And all those have, um, it's, it's basically one to 10 in the category. So 10 being the highest. So, and then I'll give you guys a percentage of that breakdown, average hi-fi score there at the end. So we'll start with the quality. I gave the subwoofer an eight and a half out of 10. Um, this is a really high quality subwoofer. I love um, the driver feels just, it feels above and beyond its price point. Uh, the thick rubber surround, the nice stout uh, 12 inch driver. Um, the cabinet feels nice and solid. I like the rounded corners. They're less likely to get um, ding, things like that. And again, I already mentioned this, but I really like the fact that the volume controls, the phase and the low pass filter controls have those little clicks where you can kind of nestle it into a certain, a certain um, peg there. So I gave an eight and a half out of 10 when it comes to the quality. Uh, the bass response, I gave it an 8 out of 10. That's a very good score. Uh, this subwoofer performed very well in my room. It was rattling the dishes, doing all that stuff during that Tron Legacy um, demo. So I gave it an 8 out of 10 when it comes to bass response. I've owned some subwoofers that are just monsters. So I'm taking that into consideration. I've also owned, owned some horrible subwoofers. This one's definitely more towards the high-end uh, version of that scale. Um, so 8.5 out of 10 when it comes to the bass response. MSRP rating, I gave it an 8.5 out of 10. Walking into a store, buying the subwoofer for five hundred dollars, um, SVS really did turn the industry up on its, uh, turned it on its head, kind of when they came out because their price was just undercutting all the brands that we really, really were used to who were making subwoofers. When they came out, all those brands kind of had to adjust, um, you know, just to make sure that they're going to be competitive. Because now SVS is a huge brand; you can walk into your local stores um, like Best Buy, Magnolia, and they'll be selling these things on the floor. So. Um, MSRP value gate an eight and a half out of 10. I think they do a very good job um, at the MSRP pricing and it's about as good as you'll be able to get. There are some manufacturers out there that are sneaking in on them and I think there's even some that can kind of beat them, but SVS is still really, really um, great value. So uh, eight and a half out of 10 MSRP. The aesthetics, I gave it a seven and a half out of 10. I really like the all black look to it. Um, again, that black SVS trim ring, such a nice touch. I like the blue LED light. I know some of you don't like it. Um, some of you put tape over the top of it, but I like the blue lights in my system. So I like the rounded corners as well too. So it's just a sharp looking sub. Uh, so when it comes to the aesthetics, I gave it a seven and a half out of 10. That's again, a good score. Uh, there are subwoofers that look a little bit better to my taste, but this is all just kind of subjective. So um, when I price paid, I gave it an eight and a half out of 10. $200, I know I can list this right now and sell it within 30 minutes. I mean, $200 for the uh, SB1000 is a very good deal. Um, and that's kind of the way I look at these things. For me to keep the channel going, I need to buy the gear and be able to try to get as least close to what I paid for it um, out of it. So I have no doubts that I'll be able to sell this thing for at least $200 when I go to go to sell it here. So so we got, again, we got the quality, 8.5 out of 10. We got the base uh, response, 8 out of 10. We got the MSRP value, 8.5 out of 10. We got the aesthetics, a 7.5 out of 10. And my price paid, 8.5 out of 10. So what's that average out to? Again, out of 50 points, um, that comes down to 41 out of 50, which is 82%. This is the highest speaker that I've tested so far compared to the other speaker systems. So um, this did very well for my, my test there. So again, subwoofers are something I'm really into. So keep, stay tuned because I'm going to be buying a bunch of subwoofers. I even got a couple leads on some new ones. Hopefully I can get tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll, we'll kind of do these in between the speaker testing videos as well too. So I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking around this long. My name's Dustin. I'm Average Guy Hi-Fi here. If you like used audio um, kind of values, if you like their performance, um, all that stuff, subscribe to my channel. I'd be happy to you know, reach, if you reach out to me, ask me questions, hopefully I can kind of guide you guys in the right directions. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day.